After being closed for nearly four months due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, Atlantic City's casinos are set to reopen Thursday. Resorts Casino Hotel was built in 1978 and is the city's oldest property. Through the decades, it's only closed a handful of times due to hurricanes and the 2006 state financial crisis. Now they're gearing up to welcome back patrons with some new safety protocols. From our employee entrance where employees are going to come in, they're going to have a health screening. They're going to stand in front of a thermal camera and have their temperatures checked. We have hand sanitizing stations all over the property. We have social distancing signs and reminders. And of course, masks are going to be required here. Something else new to patrons are plexiglass panels installed around table games with dividers in between dealers and guests. We're really going to make it uh, very easy for a guest to come. As part of their capital investment, Resorts spent about $1 million to improve inside air quality by installing an air purification system, which officials say disinfects air that flows into a space and reduces the spread of airborne viruses and bacteria. Outside, the property is setting up dining accommodations at Margaritaville and Landshark Bar and Grill to comply with the governor's executive order, which bans indoor dining, alcohol service, and smoking. We really did a very good job working collectively as an industry to come up with protocols that I think will rival any gaming jurisdiction in America. Resorts Casino Hotel officially opens Thursday and will start welcoming guests back at 8 o'clock in the morning. Reporting in Atlantic City for New Jersey News Network, I'm Veronica Dudo.